What's up everybody, Ido Sen here. I got this new GPS module on my 5-inch quad, which is the BN220. Um, and I'm gonna set it up, so I said, why don't we make a video about it? So, connect your quad. That's general for every GPS. Um, so, I already set it up here, but I just want to go to the CLI part for the fail safe and the GPS rescue mode. Uh, so let's do quickly. So let's go to ports. Then you have to check which UART you connected it. And then you're going to select GPS here and it will go by itself. Uh, and you just leave auto here and it will automatically fix it. And then you save and reboot. Then you go in configuration tab and you check yeah you go in configuration tab and uh, do, 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 do. you just turn on GPS here I chose uBlocks protocol for this one and I just left everything else as it is and that's about it here yeah that's it here then you go to fail safe you just leave it like this because we're gonna change it in the CLI because by by now uh, beta flight didn't include it here uh, the GPS rescue mode as a, as a fail safe so we're gonna set it through the CLI and right now I'm inside my apartment so GPS doesn't work, of course. So let's go to CLI. And we're going to type in get fail safe. There we go. We got all the safe, fail safe options here. And that's what we need. We read GPS rescue because we have a GPS connected and so we're gonna change this from drop uh, to GPS rescue remember that's mandatory and very important wherever you change this to GPS rescue mode don't go to the, the failsafe options and change it again otherwise this will disable this of course don't touch anything in a failsafe uh, screen okay so now we're gonna change it and we're gonna use the Set fail safe underscore procedure equal PS rescue. Enter. All right, we've got this. Let's. I always double check. Uh, so I'll go get get fail safe again. Boom. And as you can see here now fail safe procedure is GPS rescue. So we're gonna hit save. Yeah, and I think it's saved. Not still saving? Mm -mm -mm. Feels like it crashed. Oh, it froze. Let's try to disconnect and reconnect. Yeah, it's saved. It saved it. Yeah, it, that, it says drop here, but that's the default value. The cur current value is GPS rescue. Now, another thing we're gonna do is get GPS, and here you get all the GPS stuff. And you can change it. Uh, that's up to you, though. Uh, this is this is all default settings. 
what we want to change here is this is this thing here we're gonna we're gonna put this rescue currently is rescue sanity on we're gonna put it to rescue sanity fail safe only okay so let's do this just copy it set paste fail safe only okay good GPS double check there we go we got it save okay I don't know why it's freezing all the time here but as we saw before it's saved so. Double check again. Get GPS. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Rescue sanity only. Uh, fail safe only. Okay. And then for the rest, you can choose whatever you want as you prefer. Uh, I usually like to change this because if it's windy. Uh, you wanna you want the quad to get more angle. So I'm gonna set it to uh, 45. 45, yeah, 45 should be good. Okay. How does GPS rescue mode work? So this is the altitude uh, that the quad will reach once uh, GPS rescue mode is engaged. So 50 meters, we're talking in meters here, of course, 50 meters doesn't mean it will reach 50 meters, but it means it will reach 50 meters plus the maximum altitude you have reached so far. So if I reach, for example, 20 meters, it will reach 70 meters. This is to avoid any obstacle you already avoided uh, during your flight till the, the the failsafe is engaged so then this next value this is when the quad will start to descend uh, so as soon as the GPS reaches uh, reads that it's so f 200 meters from the pilot uh, the, the arming point uh, uh, it will start to descend so this is 200 meters so this is up to you this will not land it though remember this is not auto land or the return to home this will just get close to you and then you have take control it won't land it will crash uh, so I mean, you can do some fine adjustment on hovering and stuff, and you can try to do. It. I, I will try to do it, and if I find a good, but that depends from motor power and and many many factors. So just this is not. If you want to do auto land, uh, return to home, nav flight probably is better. <clears throat> GPS rescue min set. I set it up to zero. This is the minimum. Uh, remember, whenever you mount a GPS antenna, uh, this is default set to eight. So it means that the quad won't arm until it gets eight satellites linked. Okay. Uh, so I set it to zero because sometimes I use it. Uh, like in garages and, or in my apartment for settings and so uh, I needed to arm even when it doesn't get any satellite so I set it up to zero uh, just remember if you do that if you want to rely on the GPS rescue mode remember you need satellites 
and eight satellites is approximately a good number a minimum good number that's more or less all I do in my settings so I'll just save here I made a video already about a GPS rescue mode a, de a demo please check it if you want to see how it works and it works pretty good though remember it's not a return to home so don't expect it to be so precise and accurate but it does the job I mean if you go into fail safe like it will it will get close to you and then you land it so I find it very useful anyway so thanks a lot for watching guys remember to subscribe and stick around for more videos thanks a lot and happy flying